Okay, for my next project, I'm going to make an outdoor table out of this old door. This is an old tongue and groove door from way back in the day. It's been sitting out here for 12 years that I know of. Uh, it was here before I bought the place, so we'll see how good it is. Um, take all the paint off, stain it up, make it into a table. Piece of plywood, sheet of plywood, 1200 by 1200. Um, I'm going to use that to make my template for my legs. Uh, over here, H4 treated posts, uh, 90 by 90 and I'll cut them up and make them my legs. Okay, I've made my template for my legs. Uh, standard height for a table is 750 millimeters. The set thickness of my door is 25 millimeters, so I took 25 off uh, 70, 750. Um, the board I've cut here is 725 high. My door is 825 wide, so my board is 825 wide. I penciled in this line, middle line, corner to corner, middle line, corner to corner. And then, because my posts or legs are 90, that's 45 either side. And that there's my thickness of my legs. I'll put the leg post on there and mark out these corners on the post and cut them off my post and that'll be my two well cross members they'll be my legs Here's how I'm going to show you the four legs. Uh, there's these two cuts out. This is it marked out. And these are the cuts. Right, take all that out. Okay, here it is now. I've got the legs sitting on the table. I've made this L-shaped angled wood. Fits on there. Cut 45 degrees off the corners there. What I'm going to do is drill that along here. Screw that to it. A hole right through there and a hole right through there and put some bolts through. I got the leg on the feet, made the bracket, drilled a 12 13mm hole for a 12mm bolt, coach bolts. The bracket is the one I made for the other side. All glued in there. PVA wood glue. And what we do is Goes on there. Drill holes along here. Screw it down. Put a 
13 mil hole through the center of there, right through, and then put the bolts in, bolt it on. Now, now that I've got the legs on, what we've got to do is put a beam through the center, across there. I've marked out corner to corner, so to get the center, you point to point, point to point. Better drill a 32 mil hole through the legs to fit a 32 mil dowel that'll go in there. So that's going to go right through. Thirty-two mil hole, thirty-two mil dowel for my centre beam. Right, I drilled my hole this side, and to get it straight, you come in from the other side as well. And there we have it. Right, we've got the two holes drilled, both ends, and this is the beam I'm going to put through the middle. Right, bit of a gap there, but you measure it from the bottom, you measure it from there to there, and when you put the beam in, you pull all this closed and it should be straight hopefully straight up and down what we're going to do is put some do the cross there to get the center and go in 50 millimeters hole, hole drill okay, to get a depth of 50 I've measured 50. Put a piece of red tape around it. So when I dig, drill my hole, I'll get in there. 50. Right, I marked out my beam and drilled my hole. But I don't think it's going to work. I might have to. That's kind of oval. It's a bloody rough. Doesn't even look as though it's centre. I might have to work out a new way, clamp it down or something. Right, I made a new cross beam in here. 90 by 90, the same stuff as I made my legs out of. In the end of it, of, I don't know if you can see that, I drilled a hole 50 millimetres in. 32 millimetre hole, 50 mil into the each end. Got some 32 mil dowel. I've put some cross cuts into there. Cut down 50 mil maybe. And what they do is they go in through the hole one day. <laughs> Anyway, they go in there, this beam goes onto it, and we put some wedges in the end of it there to close it all up. I'm going to make some wedges for it. And hopefully then I'll show you the cross beam in there. And we should be good to go, turn her over and clean the table up. Hard to do while you're holding a cell phone. The wedges in my dowel, it's all glued. Leave that for 24 hours, and then we just cut that off there. Hopefully, it'll be all good. Keep it tight.
right they cut off perfectly gave it a bit of a sand I don't know if you can see the cross there I'll give that a stain around there and it'll be good to go this thing all held together it's sturdy as And then we'll flip it over and clean the top of the table. Stain it. And polyurethane or something, whatever you do to seal it up. Being an outdoor table, we'll see how it goes. Righto. I've left the desk table here. It was a couple of days because I had other things to do. Remove the straps, it's all tied down, taking them off. What we've got to do now is just lift the table off the stands and flip it over and clean the top of the table up. Right, I've turned it over. I've got to clean the top of the table up. God, that's pretty ugly, isn't it? As far as I know, it was 10 years, over 10 years outside. I don't know if it's been out there for 20, but yeah. Let's see what we can do with the tabletop. Righto, we've made some, got all the paint off, sanded it all up, and now I'm going to put an edging on it, um, or capping, or whatever they like to call it. Using this here, it's just decking, um, the cheapest stuff. Pre-nailed, there's some holes in it, or pre-drilled, sorry, for the nails. Just stick that on the side there, like that, right round. Bit of glue, all the nails, see how it goes. Still see under there. The end caps on, glued and nailed. Looking not too bad. Now I just measure from the edge of this to the edge of that and nail on a new the sides. Alright, I've got all the capping on and I decided to fill out some of the worst of the holes. Um, some of them are pretty bad. I've left all these nice white ones. I tried to colour match with my wood filler. Gone with a Remu wood filler. And you just put them in, leave it to dry. I'll give it a light sand and hopefully that'll get rid of some of them. Well, I'll get rid of all of them. I've already done all these ones. But I'll give that one a sand there, Remu and show you what it looks like and that's the Remu filler I guess, I'm not sure if you can see one there or not but there's one there there's a line across there where it's a join but another one there wash it down now with mineral Terps or mineral spirits, let that dry and then I'll give it a coat. Well I think I might have stuffed up my table, um, yeah, it looks too good to go outside. Yeah, 
But anyway, that's it with the exterior stain and varnish, cedar. I only put two coats on, so. But not that good, you can see a few, I don't know if you can see them there, there's a couple of runs. Just wait for that to dry now, I guess.